Hold on, let me just get a good deep sniff here. You can too. I'm back and today we're gonna be checking out some more mini smallish dolls from the hairdos line. A while back I received an email asking if I'd like to check them out and I did say yes so I have some here that were sent to me for free so I can give you guys an honest first review of them and the ones they sent over were the selfies dolls. Now I did also agree to check out the new pastel dolls and by new I mean I agreed to that many months ago but I guess they forgot and that's okay because there's a lot going on in the world right now so unfortunately I won't be checking those out but I do in fact have some of the selfies dolls and that's what we're gonna be looking at. So they did send a few but I'm only gonna be opening one of each color today so that would be pink green and blue and I'm actually kind of excited because I learned from the last ones that I opened like last spring that you can reuse the packaging I believe the first hairdos line came in like a shampoo bottle and these ones here come in mini cameras and we'll be able to look right through the viewfinder which means the containers are perfect for pretend play afterwards so if your kids like to reuse things and they should teach them while they're young these make perfect props for playtime they don't jiggle very much, which means they're tightly secured. So I might need scissors. Now, unfortunately, I was not given a price for these. All I was told was that they'd be available spring 2020, which is, of course, now. So you'll have to look it up wherever you live. So we do, of course, get this cool case that looks like a camera. There's a lens on the front and a little viewfinder on the back, which we can look through. Wait. Oh, it says look through for a cheeky preview. If I had read that, I wouldn't have just been shocked when I saw something in there. What is that? Looks like flowers are in there. What's in this? Diamonds diamonds. Oh, maybe we have an idea of what set or collection we're getting a doll from. If so, and it turns out that that's correct and I'm not making stuff up, then after you watch this video or see another person's collection card or sticker sheet and you have a specific doll you want to buy, you might be able to check through the viewfinders when stores open up, of course, to get a better chance at picking the doll you want or hopefully getting the doll you want from a specific collection. Inside each of these capsules, we will get one hairdo's selfie doll, one accessory, one selfie frame, a selfie stand and a collector sheet. I don't know why I just checked all of them as if it's gonna be different for them. On the front it says that you can make them pose and swap their clothes and that they're fruity scented. Now, you could not do any of that stuff on the first set of hairdos dolls. They were stiff posed, super cute, but not swappable. So, if you can pose them and they smell good, then I'm already pretty excited. So now we're gonna switch down to the table to check out if any of that is true or if I'm making a bunch of stuff up and getting you possibly excited for absolutely no reason. Here we are down at the table and I've got our three phone ca phone cases. What? No. I have our three cameras is what I meant to say. We've got pink, green, and blue. I've already told you everything you really need to know. They are supposed to be scented. We're going to get a doll and a stand and they might be posable and clothing swappable and they come in a really fun case. So now I'm excited to just open them and see what they're actually like. Is there a tear strip? Yes. Yes, there is. Does it want to work? No, my video quality has gotten better, but my ability to open tear strips has not. Oh, oh, that's so adorable. On the front, we've got our little lens and some plastic hearts. It says hairdos selfies. There's the little fake flash. And we have a transparent button on top. And of course, the viewfinder. But unfortunately, you guys can't see in there. Wait, you kind of can. Do you see that diamond? There's a little eye pushed into the plastic ear telling you to look through there. And then we've got some cute little shapes on the back, like a piece of candy, a heart, a flower, a moon, a star, and a diamond. So I guess those are the different shapes you might be able to see if you looked through the viewfinder. Then back here, I guess, is where you would have your viewing screen because it sort of looks like one. There's a little square inside a square with two hearts and it says selfies. And there's a little blue pop-up area. And there's a picture in it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It looks like a Polaroid. That's adorable. This is their checklist. Wow. Wow, so clever. And it also doubles as your picture frame after. So you can cut out pictures of yourself or your friends and put them in there. So it looks like we can get sparkle, lily, sky, crystal, pixie, or candy. And each character tells you what kind of hairstyle they come with, but there's no point in reading them all out. So once I find out what one is in the capsule, I will find out the name and tell you the hairstyle. On the back, it tells you what to do. So step one, have a sneak peek inside the camera, which we've already done. This one is a diamond. Step two, pull the tab to remove your collector's guide and selfie frame from the camera. Step three, open the camera to reveal your hairdo's 
a selfie doll. Step four, discover your tool to style the do's. Step five, use the base stand to display your hairdo's selfie doll on any surface. And step six, place the selfie frame on the camera and place your hairdo's selfie doll where the pin is for a selfie moment. I wonder what part of them is scented. Is it gonna be their hair, their body, or maybe their shoes randomly like the Na 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 dolls? We're about to find out. Open it up. Open it up. There it is. And there is our doll. Inside the camera, we have a floor so we can place the doll. Oh, her hair is super staticky. Here's her little brush. Oh, we need scissors to cut this out. Okay, we're back. And I cut the jibbers off. She is adorable and I can smell her from here. I feel like it's a strawberry scent. They remind me of the old strawberry shortcake dolls. Now, is it their hair or is it the clothing or is it the doll? Hold on, let me just get a good deep sniff here. You can too. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to determine where the scent is coming from. It might be the entire thing, to be honest, because <laughs> she was in the package, so realistically it smells regardless. Her hair is really, really nice. I don't have any shedding yet, and that's good. And I was worried that it was gonna be a removable wig and that we'd have the same problem as we used to with the LOL dolls, where it would be really strange looking on their heads when you swap them as caps. So I'm glad that's not the case. Now, before we check her out completely, let's find out who we have. And the answer is Crystal with a super high pony. Oh wait, her name's not Crystal. It's the type of doll you can get. Okay, whatever. So as long as you don't mind having one one of the two dolls that come with a crystal viewfinder image, you would know who you're gonna get. And the same goes for the others. So there's two you can get with the moon symbol, two you can get with a star, two you can get with the flower, etc., etc. Now, let's quickly check out the doll. She's got a blonde, super high pony and a tanned skin complexion, so she's basically been living on the beach forever. She's winking at us with one bluish green eye with mascara and pink eyeshadow open and the other, just the mascara, closed. She's got blonde brows with a diamond next to one and another on her cheek and her lips are a pale pink with teeth exposed, although it is really hard to tell. And her head moves up, down, and all around. Overall, she's really, really cute. However, she sadly does have some defects in her eye paint because it's all scratched out along the bottom. She comes wearing a pink dress and it is plastic and nice and thick so I don't feel like it's going to come apart but we will try taking it off. And she's posed with one arm up bent at the elbow and it looks like she's holding on to her cheek and the other is down and they do rotate which is pretty nice but they don't bend at the elbow so if it's posed at the elbow it stays at the elbow. And her legs can move back and forth and she comes wearing some really cute pink strappy heels. So how does this come off? They said that the clothing was swappable. Ooh, it's a little tough. I was gonna tell you that underneath she is wearing pink underwear, but it's really hard to actually swap the clothing. So I won't. I'm gonna open up her stand and put her on it. I said put her on it so that she can stand. There you go. She does stand on it. It's just, she's top heavy. So as long as you get her in the right position, you shouldn't have a problem as she tips. Since her hair is super soft, I'm not gonna bother combing it. But before we move on to the next doll, I'll just show you the inside back of the camera has a little vanity and seat so it can look like your doll is getting ready. There's also like an RFID chip sticker or something under there, it's weird. Now I'm gonna quickly open up the other two, but now that we know how everything works, we're basically just gonna focus on the quality of their paint and seeing who we get. It's such a shame that I can't try swapping their clothes because they really didn't wanna come off. Maybe with time and use, it will be easier to swap. Sorry guys. Moving on to the blue camera, I don't I don't think you can see it, but inside this little viewfinder, we have a flower. And I think that means we're gonna get one of these two dolls. And honestly, I really hope it's twin Frodo because she's adorable. Why aren't there any boys though? I would really like it if the hairdos also offered boys because you could get some really great hairstyles on boys. I'm just saying. Our camera is the exact same as the first, except this time it's blue and we have a green photo to pull out. I'm just gonna leave it in there though because it's the exact same checklist, but still super cute. And our doll is, yay! Wait, no, what? I thought it was twin Frodo because of the hair color, but this is actually a different doll. What the heck? She's not even on here. Wait, is that her? Oh, it is her. She just looks different than the picture. It looked like her hair was gonna be full on pom-poms, but this is more like curls that are hanging down. Although it is possible that once we take her out, they might puff up. Although in the picture, she's got blonde brows and flowers and in real life, they're orange. That's what threw me off. Either way, still really cute. Let's see what she smells like. Here's the inside of her camera. It's the same, it's just blue. Her base is pink and they look like cameras as well. I forgot to point that out, sorry. And there's also a little spot for them to stand on the floor if you don't want to use the stand. 
here she is. And she's doing my favorite pose, so that's awesome. And she's got a really cute sweater and skirt set, so I super love her. Her hair is quite flat, and I wish it was pom-pom-like, so I might have to actually brush this out a bit. And that's perfect, because she comes with a brush. And this one has some kind of fruit, because it's round with leaves on top. I don't want to mess up the curls. That's, oh, it's stuck already. Oh no, maybe don't put leaves. Ah! Okay, it's not going well, so I've given up. I feel like I would have to add some more elastics and sort of hold them in the shape that I want. And since I don't have any handy, I can't. So we're gonna continue on as though she looked like her image. So here we have twin Frodo. She comes with poofy blonde pigtails, which are supposed to be nice and puffy, almost like pom-poms, but unfortunately they aren't. And that's kind of inevitable because she was crushed in a package, but this side stayed good. So, I mean, come on. She smells really, really good, almost like a peachy pineapple scent. And and just like the first doll, she also has a tan skin complexion, except both of her eyes are open and bright green, and the paint is so much better than the first. She also has black mascara and the same pink eyeshadow and lips, except this time she's sticking out her tongue, and her eyebrows and the flowers on her face are orange. She comes wearing an aqua colored sweater with a white collar, and she is posed with her hand just under her chin, bent at the elbow, and the other straight out. She's also wearing an orange skirt, which matches her eyebrows, and she has some platform platform aqua shoes which match her sweater and they have little bows on the front. Let's see if her stuff's any easier to take off. Sorta. Ugh. It's stiff, but we can. Underneath her skirt, she is wearing orange underwear. I'm assuming you can only swap out their skirts because the shirts would be impossible, especially since her arms are separate from it. So I'm gonna keep her skirt off just in case we could swap it with another doll and also her shoes. Oh, she's got little toes and everything. They're super cute. All right, so I'll put her over there. We'll save these and we'll try them on our last doll, which is of course in the green camera. I've given up on the tear strips, so let's just go from wherever. Here we go. Once again, the camera is the exact same except green. And this time the photo that pops out, also known as our picture frame, is pink. And it has the exact same checklist slash collector guide inside. In this viewfinder, we can see another diamond. So we're either going to get a double of her or the two-tone pony do, which is kind of funny because she's not even wearing a ponytail at all. <laughs> so I guess this is gonna be a good way to determine whether or not the colors matter or if you have a chance at getting the exact same one as long as it has a diamond, regardless of whether you get a pink camera or a green camera or even a blue camera, who knows. We got this. Oh, we did get her. Okay, that didn't really help us determine anything, but we got the two-tone pony do, which is kind of funny. Cause like I said, she is not even styled in a ponytail at all. She comes with a green comb and I didn't notice it on the first one, but there's a little lollipop and some hearts on this cloud shaped top. And she has a blue stand and we're gonna need to cut the jibber to get her out. So let me just do that. There we go. She is so cute. Her hair is pretty soft, so I'm not gonna comb it, but I will be able to check her rooting since her hair is not in ponytails, despite what the collector guide says. She too smells like strawberries. Her hair is an aqua color mixed with a few streaks of pink. It's really long and really soft. I'm not getting any shedding, which is nice. And it's styled in beachy waves, not ponytails. When it comes to rooting, we have a lot of it. It's creating a nice full look. I can't exactly count the rows because they're sort of all over the place, but we don't have any bald spots, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Once again, the doll has a tanned skin complexion and just like this one here, both of her eyes are open and they're also aqua colored. She's got the black mascara, the pink eyeshadow, and lips, except they're sort of in a kissy face this time, and aqua colored eyebrows and gems on her forehead and her cheek. Her pose is one arm down and the other up, almost like she's blowing a kiss, and she comes wearing a blue dress with a pink ribbon around the middle and matching shoes to the first doll we opened, which are hot pink, strappy heels. And I forgot to mention it, but this doll here is wearing a pink dress with a white ribbon around the middle. So basically they are wearing the exact same outfit Fit just in different colors. So I'm gonna quickly try to take off her skirt. Ooh, maybe if I move her arm. Okay, no, it's too stiff. I'm sure with use, it will get easier to remove it, but basically their shoes are removable and so are their skirts. And it looks like they all come wearing painted underwear which matches their skirt underneath. So I guess we could just put her clothes back on since we have no one to swap them with. Mostly because I like the outfits to match, so I'm not exactly gonna try on the shoes. But they all have the same size everything, so I'm quite certain they would be compatible once they're easier to remove. These are really, really cute. 
I love everything about this. The only packaging we have to throw away are the little bags that the combs or brushes and stands come in and the plastic from the outside of the package. Oh, and technically the little jibbers. But other than that, the capsule they come in is really cute and definitely reusable in the form of playing with it as a camera, using it as a picture frame, and also using it as a play scene. And that really makes me happy. Let me just open this one up. There you go. Half of me wants to convert one of these into some kind of poly pocket type thing. Although it would be pretty big. <laughs> I don't know. At the end of the day, um, I think these are really great and I really like them. The only problem I had was the scratched up eye on my first doll who's tipping over. Yep, we'll just leave her there. And the squished up hair on this doll here. I do love her, but she does need a bit of work. Ah, she's falling. Regardless, they are really, really cute and I am happy to add them to our doll collection. I really love their hair and they do smell incredible. I'm also really happy that they're in poses and able to stand because the first series of the hairdos were adorable and their poses were super cute. But the fact that these ones are movable and also stand is excellent. Now, I don't know if the pastel ones would do that or if they were scented or whatever because I didn't get those, but I'm really, really happy with these and I think if you liked the idea of the hairdos dolls when you saw them before but you were always like huh I wish they moved well now they do and technically we can swap their clothes just not right now okay guys that is it for the hairdos selfies dolls now we have three of them and three prop cameras which I still find really really cool and I kind of want to paint one to make it look like a real camera if I had painted it, because truth be told, I've been wanting to paint over one of my Instax cameras for a while now, but I just don't trust my painting abilities. So maybe I'll take my non-artistic vision out on one of these cameras. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you were interested in any of the hairdos dolls, now you have an idea of what comes inside them, except with all the varieties of the available dolls that you could get. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.